1-8-7-6-5-4-3-2-1-2-3-4-5-6-7-8. After an early exchange of penalties between Freddie Burns and Gordon Ross, the game came to life after Burns broke away brilliantly from his own 22. After great work, though, he missed the opportunity to put in a teammate for a touchdown. But London Welsh were penalised and also for their pains lost wing Nick Scott to the sin bin. Burns spurned the chance of a kick at goal, took a tap penalty, and Shane Monaghan squeezed in at the corner for his first ever Gloucester try. Young lock prospect Tom Savage added a second, his first as well for Gloucester, as the visitors extended their lead with the conversion to 18 points to six. But the Welsh bounced back well. Gordon Ross kicked a third penalty to make it 18 points to nine, and Gloucester had to work overtime just before the interval to keep out what could have been a very important London Welsh attack. The outcome of the game might well have hinged on an incident just after half-time. Freddie Burns prevented the Welsh getting seven points for the deliberate knock-on. He was sin-binned, but there was no penalty try, which maybe the Welsh deserved. But then, after two penalties by Ross to one by 12 trees, the Welsh did take the lead finally. Montanella's try, converted by Ross, made it 22-21 to the Welsh. Ross kicked another penalty after a bizarre offence by Gloucester number 8, Callum Afanu. 25-21. Burns then made it 25-24 and had the vision to break out of his own 22 for the key score. James Simpson Daniel and replacement Henry Trinder combined and at the end replacement prop Sean Knight became the third Gloucester player to get his first try for the club. Burns converted, it ended breathlessly. London Welsh 25, Gloucester 31. Don't forget, in the 70s, we're possibly the most famous club in the world.